Hi guys, JJ here, I'm back with another video. And today we are on the MEP server. This is episode, geez, what is it now? Episode 44, I think. Uh, yeah, we're, we're close to the 50 mark, guys. And we might do something special for that. It would be pretty cool. I just have to come up with an idea. Um, so yeah, I've just been uh, hanging around spawn just for the last five minutes looking at stuff. In here, I just checked out what I need to refill because I'm going to try and keep three of each item in, unless I've got more, of course, like the diamond leggings and the chain leggings, which I've got quite a lot of. Other than that, I've got three of most things in here. Some stuff upstairs has been bought. I think Shuffle spent 20 diamonds on here, so I've already earned quite a bit over there. Uh, looks like Chris is setting. He's not shitting. He's uh, setting up a new <laughs> shop at spawn or a building, not necessarily a shop. Let's quickly check death games. I wonder, someone might log on later, you never know. Uh, yeah, I got my FK account on at the moment. Really getting a load of shit came from that farm, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, let's see, who's in? Sheepers, that could be interesting if he comes on later. I always check these chests, I don't know why. Um, so yeah, what else have we got? Yeah, um, my bookshop. I uh, I sold a Silk Touch book to MC Ultimate Crew for seven diamonds that was, yep. And then he ordered a Unbreaking 3 book as well, which I got yesterday. Um, what was it? Unbreaking f Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4, Efficiency 4 or something? Or something, something like that, something in, in that uh, region. And so I now have 27 blocks and 3 diamonds, it's awesome. I sold 9 of these stacks and... And I got the seven down there, so that's nine sixteen diamonds, which is pretty awesome. I am making money all the time. It's just brilliant. I love it. Uh, when I sell the Unbreaking Three book, that should be five diamonds. Am I crazy in saying that? And then I have twenty eight blocks. Nearly got half a stack of diamond blocks. Shuffle set up a little temporary fishing foundry here, which is pretty cool. And other than that, not much has changed. Actually, I want to quickly go over here and show you guys something. This is really cool over here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, this. It is, you can see there, it comes up. And basically, this was built by Mr. A. It looks awesome. I, I just love it. It looks so cool with the like the natural bit around there and the water here. And then Mr. A is little, uh, you go down here to the to the tan dungeon. Some of you guys on the server might not know this. So we got the tan dungeon here, which you can easily get stuck in. I think if you break a block up here, you could easily drown in here. That would be pretty pretty nasty way to die. And then if we go down here, we've got Mr. A's little spawn hideout with a load of crap in. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what he's got this for, but just I take it just to... What? Aha! <laughs> I knew there was a way to do something like that with trapdoors. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, we've got JDO's place over here, which I've showed you guys quite a few times. Not much has changed. He has put this little like glass thingy in here, which looks pretty cool, especially in my texture pack. Or my my resource pack, you have to say now. I've been saying texture pack so much lately. Um, he's got this way. So basically, he's got a path from spawn over to his place. Then they've got like, because this is a team JavaScript is working on this. And if you guys don't know who that is, that is JDO because he does. Uh, he can he can code very well or something. I think, or he just does a lot of coding. And then with Shuffle, Shuffle's taking a coding course in summer. He's going to the University of Michigan. Don't ask how I know that. I think that he said that in his episode yesterday. And because of my photographic memory, I just linked up a photo of that in my brain. Um, then we've got this. Oh, I haven't seen this bridge before. This goes over. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I like that. Uh, JDO. I don't know if he's gonna be what he's gonna be doing. Oh, it's like a moat, is it? Oh, this is cool. And I need to eat, that's why I can't run. Um, I don't know what he's going to do for a building here, but I really do think that he should make it... Maybe e even just make a, a glass dome. Or, no, not glass, not glass, that would look bad. Maybe make like the... Uh, the t what is it called? The, the hub telescope... The hub telescope, is that it? You can make one of them, like put a dome here of cobblestone and then uh, like an uh, open bit which has like a telescope sticking out. That, that I think that would be really awesome. Uh, I might tell him that just in uh, Skype. Pretty Skype and uh, tell him my idea because I think that looked pretty cool here, especially in the open and stuff. I know that they are going to fill this in with forest, which like because over here you can't actually see through the forest. And then here lies Sheepers Battle Tower, 2014 to 2014. It's such a shame they have to tear it down. 
But Sheefers has moved over there. He, jeez, he used a lot of stuff to build this. I think. He, why has he got random stuff over here still? I don't know. It's Sheepers. You never know with Sheepers. Um, but he's moving over to his um, what is it? Italian Renaissance? Is it? He's built. Yeah, it's like a, um, he's doing a. He's making a big city kind of thing. And this, I've never actually seen this properly from this kind of angle, but this this front door looks absolutely epic. I think Chris did a really good job on this. Looks awesome. He did actually, I did ask him, I said, hey, you still my idea? And he said, yeah, because it's a good idea. I totally agree. It's, it, I don't know, I just like the holes. It just looks cool, um, in my opinion. I, I remember over here, when we burnt down Shuffle's, sorry, Shuffle, um, when we burnt down Shuffle's house, we left a little grave. Is the grave still here? I'm just wondering. Just curious. Um, yeah, here it is. Oh, awesome. Guard those 1, 2, 2014, 2014, and Shuffle's Treehouse 2013 to 2014. Uh, other than that, Shuffle has... This is kind of getting to be a little uh, tour of the server. But I just like this wing off like spawn. It's really awesome. He's putting these lights. He's got like... Uh, he's, he's got these signs up. He's got a farm over here. He's got the trees look really cool. I love it. And over here, he's got his farms, and he's got his villager. 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 There we go. Yeah, this villager. Good villager. Um, and then he's he started to really do, do some like work on this, which looks awesome. I like the glass over it that you can like see down, and then you've got the the wood over there. And I need to sprint. Sprint. Please, thank you. And then over here, he's got. Uh, I think he made his own design with the uh, dogs. He made a uh, melon and a pumpkin farm, and they look really cool. Oh, uh, um, yeah. I think these dogs are trying to get the Jeb sheep, which is changing colour all the time. I love Jeb sheep. They look awesome. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for Truffle's base kind of thing, apart from his house, which is really cool. But I am wasting a load of time doing this, and I'm going to jump over to what we are going to be doing today. So guys, I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and let's start the timer up. Um, yeah, so basically, I was just about to start recording, and I realized that my gaming software wasn't working. And, let's see, welcome back, thank you, I was just about to record, cool, committed, join later, give me tips on an iron farm, sure. Yeah, so today guys, I want to build an iron farm, I'm going to take this down as well. This uh, episode is probably not out on Tuesday, or most probably be, would be Wednesday, even though I recorded the first bit, nope, um, even though I recorded the first part of this episode on, what was it, Friday probably? Um, just didn't have enough time, was wandering around spawn and had to get stuff ready for the weekend, which was really fun. I've actually, guys, so basically, let me run you through this. Um, Basically, my birthday is on Thursday, for you guys that did not know. I think most of you did, probably, because I've said it quite a few times uh, already in my videos. But, basically, my birthday is on Thursday, the 20th of March, you guys that didn't quite know when that was. Um, and I'm really excited. Oh, okay, sorry, I just thought, <laughs> just for a second, thought he might be here or something. Or is he? I th thought I just saw an arrow for some reason. Obviously not. He's just saying like welcome back or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically um, my birthday is on Thursday, and basically for my birthday I'm getting from my parents sort of for Christmas they give me fifty pounds, and for my birthday fifty pounds, and the rest I paid. The card, the graphics card, the GTX seven seventy. Um, the card was how much in total? I really cannot remember. Something like wait, what the hell? Four. Okay, <laughs> that, that that I think I just traded twelve twelve uh, Britain books from them there, which was quite a few. Um, so yeah, basically it was I bought it for 180 pounds. So basically I paid about 100 pounds, 80 pounds myself, and I'm also getting Windows 8, um, a new version of Windows 8. Basically, well, Windows 1.8, uh, 8.1, 1.8. God, I'm getting so mixed up with the Minecraft stuff here. Uh, Windows 8.1 Pro I'm getting as well, which, um, basically, I got an SSD for Christmas, and I thought, oh, I can just, uh, I can just basically co kind of copy it over to, um, to, from my hard drive to my SSD, but no. Uh, going back to Earthcat, the Wither Farm, 
Yeah, we got the Wither Farm up and running. I think uh, Miss Ray was pretty lucky the other day, but he got three skulls in half an hour, I believe, which was pretty cool. Okay, now. Um, so, yeah, graphics card, GTX 770, and that's all cool. The Windows, Windows 8.1 Pro, £72. My parents said, well, basically, we're not getting you much for your birthday, so we'll just do that. So, basically, spending £120 on me, which... I'm okay with, but I thought it was slightly unfair on my little brother, because he normally does not get as... Wait, where the hell did my emeralds go? Oh my god. <laughs> just had a half stack of emeralds in my inventory, and they just suddenly went. That was kind of weird. Can I trade more? I can. Okay. I think that's it then. Yep. Okay. And so basically that, and then my headset I'm getting from kind of both pairs of my grandparents, like, joint, which was 85 euros. If you guys that don't know what that is, that's about oh god, this thing in pounds. It's I think it's seventy pounds, and in dollars, it's probably about one hundred and thirty or something. Maybe one hundred and twenty-five. It's a Funk HS two hundred and sixty. And tonight, I am going to bid on eBay. If you guys don't know, that's an awesome site for bidding and stuff. Um, basically, I'm going to try and get a co one u mic which is a pretty damn good mic and it's lovely for YouTube and basically I'm just gonna have the mic, I'm gonna have a shock mount and the pop filter which is all in with the um, like the, uh, the stuff on eBay and then what I'm going to do is probably buy the mic stand for the oh god what is it I cannot remember at all I think I'm gonna make a quick cut and just quickly get it um, just quickly remember the names so that you guys can look it up yourself and stuff. Okay guys, it's the Citronic SMS002, which is a very good one. It's like a desk, uh, it clamps onto your desk kind of thing, and I want that. Oh, we gave an iron ingot, and no flesh, that's weird. And four XP orbs, is that normal? Or would I kill something before? It might have done. Um, so yeah, the Citronic SMS002. It's an it's a pretty cool stand re recommended by a friend. Um, he didn't get it, but he's seen a lot of people that do have it, and he knows people that have it. Come on, come on. Okay. Um, yeah. So basically, it's it uh, can connect. The maximum is ten centimeters. So uh, my desk is ten centimeters um, like thick. So I'm pretty pretty lucky there. So uh, hopefully it will fit. I'm not entirely sure. And so at the moment that mic is on eBay for thirty, no forty, just 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 gone forty. I hear, I think. I don't know why people bid on stuff so early when it's kind of pointless. <laughs> it's really weird. I normally bid in the last twenty seconds on stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's forty pounds at the moment. And basically, I am uh, I'm probably going to pay about s probably max sixty five ish. I think because you can get all the stuff that it's with on Amazon for 90 so I think that's what I'm gonna do what am I doing? what am I doing? I think I've just traded paper with them, I'm really not sure I'm gonna put the books up here just a bit closer to... no that's not a book yeah and so hopefully I should get that, the stand is 25 pounds I believe and that would mean that I've actually bought some stuff for myself for my birthday which I was wanting to do because yeah it's always good to upgrade stuff and it will be better quality for you guys um, I will possibly, I was just talking, to this, uh, talking about this with Mark because I was just in a call with Mark earlier probably about half an hour ago and um, basically I want to start running shaders which I think would be really cool Hopefully you guys like that. Just quickly comment down in the comment section below. Just quickly tell me if you would like to see shaders and if you would like enjoy it more or whether you would you would prefer it if there weren't shaders or just just tell me what you guys think about the shaders idea. Because personally, I really like shaders and I think you're gonna probably get some pretty heavy shaders shaders on. Uh, maybe do like a video where I just test out like five different shaders, tell you what the average FPS is when not recording and normally recording and which shaders they are and then you guys can probably just I'd probably just set up a straw poll and then you guys can um can vote on which one you guys like the most. 
so I'm probably going to do that, set that up in a few, well when I get my graphics card I suppose, okay, um, which will be really cool. I cannot wait to get my graphics card, it's going to be brilliant, going to be running, I haven't actually played any like FPS games recently, Battlefield 3 I haven't played in ages because it's still on another hard drive somewhere, I can't remember which one I put it on, I might still have it, I don't know, but I just, I, th I feel like it's kind of died off sort of, which is which is a shame seeing as Battlefield 4 came out, which is not surprising really. Titanfall, I played the uh, the beta, yeah, the beta, which is really awesome. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a quick cut and I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, sorry about that, I'm back. Uh, this is just gonna be a very quick sort of bit, but I just want to tell you quickly, so yeah, I did the Titanfall open beta, it was pretty awesome, I love the game, it was just a brilliant game. It is 60 euros though, so I don't really want to buy it because it's pretty expensive, but I might think about doing that maybe in May or something when it's possibly even a drop on price but it's on Origin so I don't think that's going to happen unfortunately and this is probably going to be the last time we trade paper with him here and now and then I am going to make a cut and we're probably going to go and uh, do the iron farm which will I'll probably put pretty close to here somewhere just remove the wooden door up here, these two wooden doors there um, that, has that got wooden doors? I really can't remember uh, yeah it has, I have to remove them and then we can get started really uh, probably gonna have to, I've got glass shears now which is brilliant so I can remove all this glass and stuff and gonna have to move this villager and the paper villager and possibly this one and yes guys, I cut again, I know, but basically got to remove this paper villager and this guy over here to probably a safe holding, possibly out there, I might try to get them over there just with the um, nether portals, um, that would be brilliant because then I just had them really close to me, but I suppose that would be a bit annoying with the sugar cane, mm, shouldn't be too bad, if I just keep her, maybe just try and keep like a double chest of sugar cane up there, kind of thing, that should be okay, but apart from that, I'm going to take down this whole structure and this video will be out on Wednesday I'm for, I'm, I'm sure because I'm probably not going to record today anymore so um, building that iron golden farm will probably put it maybe out there or something I think that should be a good place um, might make try and make three levels but I don't know uh, actually do we want to make it above the water no we don't do we or do we? Mm, no, not really. So uh, we'll find a space. It, it might. We could put it behind. We could put it behind the sugarcane farm, I suppose. And then I'll get a load of sugarcane because of F King at the Iron Golden Farm because I really want a lot of iron. I'm gonna try and actually get like a load of emeralds. I literally mean a load of emeralds. And um, basically, I want to try and um, try and make a. Oh, what 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 do you call them? A, I forgot the name, a beacon, purely out of emerald blocks. Okay guys, that's it, I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and yes, this is differing from an iron farm, but basically, if you guys did not know, Team JavaScript is trying to take over the server. So, we're going to teach them what, what, what I can actually do. They just leave stuff lying around, which is worse stuff, so I'll take it, why not? If they're prepared to leave stuff around that costs quite a lot of money, then uh, yeah, sure. Let's just take it, so I will see you guys in a second. Okay guys, there we go. Thought you could mess with the 69er crew. Well, think again. 69er crew, that is me and MC Ultimate crew. We formed a little team together. Unfortunately, this is very early in the morning, and... I sort of just planned this literally like three seconds ago so I thought I'd leave the beacons be slightly kind but yeah <laughs> I got quite a lot of emeralds which I'm happy with so they can go in my beautiful ender chest and uh, yeah guys I will uh, I'll see you later when we're gonna build the iron farm with ooh this is left open not very smart not very smart guys I'll see you guys later when I'm building the iron farm with Mr. A Okay guys, and sorry for that little mouse movement there, but uh, we are back, at, well we're not back, we're here, uh, <laughs> and basically we're going to be building the Iron Golem farm, 
This is pretty much. We don't want that there, Mark. Just to let you know. <laughs> he's so unexperienced with iron farms. He's only made like two or something on this server. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> so basically, this is going to be the killing area kind of thing. We're going to put a chest probably like here where those, these two dirt blocks are. And the top's going to be up there. So we are probably going to get what, laying out a structure now. We're going to have to build, uh, we're going to have to bring over the villagers, about 15 of them, from uh, over there. And now, actually, 10, isn't it? It's 10. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so 10 villagers, and then we should be ready to start recording again and show you guys a bit of progress. So we will see you in a second. Okay, guys, so we are back, and we've got some nice stone slab laid up here. My, oh, it's just my favorite block in the game. It looks so good. I don't know. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. And we've got the glass chute still, and we've got two dirt blocks up there, which I think are still the marker for when we need to stop the farm. So uh, let's carry on yeah, putting down some water. I think we can do that on camera. That shouldn't take too long. So yeah, we need yeah. to quickly make an infinite source over here, don't we? Or not? Alright, I can do it over there, yeah, sure. I'll just yeah. do it against this wall and block it up or whatever. Okay. It'll leak all over the place, but eh, no big deal. <laughs> okay. Oop, oop, don't fall on the screen. <laughs> okay, wait. And Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That, oh, brilliant. And it, <laughs> it literally goes like just to the edge. Oh, that looks brilliant. Okay, guys, so we're going to make a cut here, and we will see you in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back, and my... God, Mark, basically Mr. A, might cut in in a second in this call, which might be slightly awkward. But hey, uh, he's doing some stuff. Basically, I'm staying in a call with him, but he's not there at the moment. And I need to cover them up, and I have one ender pearl. Damn it. Um, yeah, so basically we have got the villagers in, just need to cover them up with this. Um, we basic they're just going to have to breed, they're going to start breeding hopefully because of the doors. There you go. And just need to sort out the drop shoot with the hoppers and stuff. And then we pretty much should be done, that will be brilliant. I'll be AFKing here a lot to get a load of iron for uh, beacons and stuff, and then hopefully we'll start um, doing some AFKing at the Wither Farm, Wither Skeleton Farm, and should hopefully get a lot of stuff pretty quickly, which would be really nice. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I know I haven't done much, just quite a bit of talking and a few little projects in between. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!